It's um, where the basis come from, where the family from, you know, where I grew. Um, I've done a lot as far as in this industry. I've done, you know, music main so is what put me in the doors to promote, throw parties. Um, I've done tours, been on my own tours and through my own tours. Um, I'm just involved with it basically hands on for me and just a businessman first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Right. So the music like what's what's like, did it start with the music? Did it start with the business? Did yeah, it? No, yeah, yeah. It started with the music. Um, when I went, I went to school to, in Iowa. Um, when I first went to school, I just was always like involved in recording. I used to have a studio in the room. You know what I'm saying? I just was like, man, I'm gonna find a way where I'm just gonna always do this. And when I get a chance, I'm just gonna go heads in. Right. And so I was working, you know, first out of college and whatnot. And then I moved back home, and that's like ever since I moved back home to Tampa, I was all in. You know what Man. I'm saying? So first, I just was pushing music hard, like in the studio. What you was going to school for? Uh, I got my degree in history. Okay. Yeah. Um, I started with an emphasis in pre-law, but um, just for me being <laughs> a knucklehead and moving too fast and not really going to class and being as mature as I needed to be and handle my business accordingly, I had to um, sum it down to get a history degree just basically to finish. And that's mm-hmm. what my advisor basically told me I need to do. And rest in peace to him. Um, he um, he died of cancer like during my last, yeah. last basically quarter or right. semester of my college year. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it was, it was wicked because like he was like one of my professors from one of my last class. And mm-hmm. some days he would be like so sick he couldn't make it. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? So I would not go to class sometimes because I'd be like, I don't know if he's going to be there. And it almost caused me to graduate because I had, like, two more absences needed to graduate to pass. So it took my grade down to a D from a C. Mm. But luckily, I had a friend who had a girlfriend who worked <laughs> <laughs> at the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to finesse two doctor's notes and got, you know what I'm saying, got oh, my degree man. off the finesse game. And, you know what I'm saying? I've been finessing ever since. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I just... I thank God for them opportunities and things that it taught me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I did a lot of, I'm basically the T Grizzly before he dropped, you hear me? All right, like, okay. They, like, that's how we used to get down. We was, it, it was in school, but we was rugged, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they sound crazy, but. And, now we did, if you went to Iowa, like, all right, no, I got recruited by Iowa. Yeah. So, I, you know, I went out, It's they, we a different type of people. I keep telling people, like, when, you know what I'm saying? When you leave from Florida, you realize, like, we different type of niggas out yeah. here, bro. Yeah, yeah, you definitely on your own. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you, you got to get it. You got to find a way to make money. You got to find a way to survive. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't just like no top athlete and they just breaking your pockets off. You know what I'm saying? So, you still got to eat. You still got to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So You got to make your way. You somehow. got to. And so, just, like, tell some of the people what you did. Like, what you, we was talking about this. So, we know, like, um, you know, the South by Southwest. The, I mean, I've, I've done, yeah, I've done South by Southwest. Um two years in a row um, in Austin, Texas. I perform in front of Def Jam, in front of Bigger Ranking. Um, I've done shows in front of TI in Atlanta, um, V Live. I've, I've done tours in California. I've been through um, Arizona, Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? I've, um, and I did, when I did a show in California, I did it on the, um, from an artist from, from my city out of Tampa named Young Dread. Okay. I don't know if you ever heard of him on um, YTC. He got a hot new single called Blue Strip. He actually just did a remix with Lil Baby. Um, me and him got a new record coming out called Can't Lose. Um, video shot by my man VBS Vito. So um, those are some of the things that I've done. Um, I've done A3Cs in Atlanta um, probably three years you know, right. running. And, um, I learned, uh, I put a lot of respect for a lady named Christy Duff, Duffy because she part of crowd control, but she the one that kind of opened the door to all those different bigger platforms. Cause I wasn't aware of them, you know what I'm saying? I right. was just in my city and I just was, you know what I'm saying? Turning up stages and people was like, yeah, you need to go ahead and get on with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so when I first met her, I'm like, I don't care what's going on. I'm gonna pay for whatever, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So where the door is at, you know what I'm saying? I'm what you my, got going on right now? Right now, um, I do I do a podcast just like this. I do Trap Talk Radio. Um, and also I'm in the process of shooting a movie. It's called uh, Trigger City. It's basically like movie, um, series type deal You know what I'm saying So we've been shooting that For probably about A year and a half Between Tampa Bradenton Sarasota okay. That whole Miami, like Kind of Bay Area Orlando yeah. um, Some shot Some scenes in Atlanta You know what I'm saying So It take time huh Yeah I mean It really take more time When you want Something perfected You know what I'm saying Especially right. not having a budget 
from an industry or someone helping out or, or any sponsors. So we just doing everything out of pocket. And the dude, my director, who's shooting, he's he's very particular. You know what I'm saying? So he's not trying to rush out a bad product. Right. We want to make sure we take our time and get it done. You know what I'm saying? We got to do voiceovers, audio corrections, man, the, the editing. It gets crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff I wasn't even aware of. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I could just hop in front of the camera and just act, and we're going to have a movie. Right. But no, nah, <laughs> it, it ain't that simple. Um, yeah. I've been pushing a couple um, couple singles. Um, I sent y'all. I got basically like three singles I've been pushing, which is right. Mr. Freeze. That's just me. That's a solo record. Um, I got a song called Star Power with my boy Heavy Lyrics and Forgiato Blow. Forgiato Blow got a, um, a major record called um, Vanilla Sprite. He did with Vanilla Ice and Rick Ross. Um, and I got another um, track that's like a strip club song called Bounce. You know what I'm saying? Those are just a couple of things I've been pushing. Those are right. basically what I've been doing. And That's just hard. hosting, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, like, book me my city to host, you know what I'm saying? I'll come through, hang out. Like, I'm, I'll be turning up. <laughs> who you fuck with in the city, in Tampa? Like, who? Like, artist-wise? Yeah. I mean, who? you know you got to um, fuck with Tom G out the gate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Big big respect up to him for just holding it down and just being who he's been such for a long time. You know what I'm saying? He a humble person. Um, I fuck with Young Dread hard and the whole YTC clique. They've been pushing and rocking for about six, seven years and just going crazy you know what I'm saying like right. so I respect they grind and they got a lot of songs with um you know what I'm saying a lot of major industry cats you know what I'm saying like Gucci Drake you know what I'm saying um what's, what's my boy out of Atlanta um dang I can't think of him like, they Scooter, all out of Atlanta Scooter yeah <laughs> all the ass out of yeah, Atlanta yeah, you know I fuck with um I fuck with Cheeks Boss man he just got that um, new single you dig with um Young Thug you right. know what I'm saying oh. I, yeah so and heavy lyrics you know my and my people who I really click with, you know what I'm saying, my, who I like throw these parties with is Heavy Legs and my dog Young Teller. Um, me and Young Teller got a hot track called Airbnb. That's out, video out everywhere. We shot it in right. Miami. Um, so those are just some of the cats out There's a couple of them, you know what I'm saying, but I fuck with, like, everybody. You know what I'm saying? I like to network. Like, I could be naming artists all day long. You right. know what I'm saying? There's so much talent, I feel like, out of the city that's just not really recognized, you know what I'm saying? But we all grinding and we just trying to, figure out a way to do it together without so much hatred, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, in yeah. my city, we got a big problem of unifying. Okay, you ever heard of this artist named uh, C. Bane? Oh yeah, C definitely, yeah, that's my dog. Okay, I fuck okay. with him, bet that. Yeah, see, my brother went to uh, college with him and played football yeah, with him. Yeah, okay, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah C. Bane, he tough. Got, he got some nice. Yeah, he tough. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he got some solid work. Too. He work with, um, he do a lot of work with um, DJ Swift. Yeah, if y'all not familiar, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, Swift, Swift do a, made a lot of beats for Young Boy. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, he got. He been moving fast yeah, too. He, he probably got platinum records. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. I've been following his movement real heavy. Yeah. He he a low key humble person, quiet guy. You know what I'm saying? Only reason you see him because he's shining so hard. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? He can't help it. Right. Wow. But yeah, man, see, Bane, he tough. Yeah. He a, he's an incredible artist. Right, I actually had him on my um my trap talk radio show. Um, if y'all ever heard the um Thug Mansion by Mozzie and um Ty Dolla Signs, I ain't heard that version. Well, yeah, uh, he really? actually got partial um writers credit to that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's big. I know you uh, interviewed Takeoff too. Loose yeah, Cannon, I did. Take Loose, off. Loose Cannon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he do he got some solid. Shout out too. to Cannon too, man. You know yeah. they in Miami doing For real, that thing. Yeah, up. You know, yeah, I did. He, he was cool, man. I, I he he was one hundred. You know what I'm saying? He was thorough, and I, I appreciate that. Much respect out to him, man. He got great work too. Yeah. And I've been following his movement for a little. He actually um performed one of the times um out here in Orlando, um with me and um Flash Dancers. Mm. Flash, fucking yeah. Flash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple <laughs> couple years ago. Okay. So, yeah. That's probably around when um I guess um when Vibe just dropped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Man, we got McQueen, Charles McQueen in the building, good, man. Good. What's poppin' with you? Man, it ain't shit, man. Appreciate you coming through. Let no them doubt, know who man. you are, what you got going, bro. No doubt, no doubt, man. I'm Charles McQueen, man. Uh, it's down the west side of Orlando, you know, by way of Cleveland, Ohio. Shit, I've been in the city about about eleven years old. Oh, so. Cleveland. Indeed, Cleveland, indeed. My boy, Young Teller, yeah, he yeah. from he from Cleveland. Yeah, man, we putting that work. Been out in the land too. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot about the land. Yeah, so you know, just just putting in work, trying to you know. Cleveland, like St. Louis. Pretty much, man. Yeah. yeah. Packed yeah. up, moved out here, and made made every relationship just 
just on the humble man just right. you know everybody I know I met over handshake you know what I mean like what brought you out here was it like trying to get out of that fucking cold weather man nigga was trying to get to the <laughs> it was so cold man and I had this I had this hard ass Sean John coat man it was hard as fuck man I left it in my car somebody broke in <laughs> it was snowing It was snow all in my front seat Damn and I said man I'm done with this shit <laughs> <laughs> You said we're going down. to Florida Yeah man We're going to Florida too. You like So did you yeah. like Florida When you first came here I loved it man I still do man Yeah <laughs> you the, only state you you can, the only state you can go To the yeah. beach in December Yeah for right. real though man Sometimes it be cold though Y'all fine Shit I mean it be cold Man beach. yeah you can sit I mean uh, It be freezing We don't really get all the seasons yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. get them, but I don't mind that either. Like, we get them, but fuck. we get them at a short. You get them for a couple of weeks, and you know you <laughs> get couple back. days. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for real. So you, uh, when you start rapping, like what brought you to the to the music? Like what you like, you know, what got you going? Um, my man, first time uh, really bone, really. You know, everybody, yeah. everybody in there wanted to be bone and see bone. And I used to write down they, uh, I used to rap too fast, so I had to slow it down and write write their lyrics. And it got to a point like, man, I can write my own shit, <laughs> right? You know, but I ain't actually started, you know, legit start going hard with it like till like, like two thousand three, two thousand four. Like, yeah, bone. yeah, yeah. Man, we used to rap real fast, was like that Busy Bone, all them, and then uh, Busy Bone, uh, Lazy Bone, brother was the first uh, first dude to take us to the studio. The first nigga we ever Just seen, you? yeah, yeah, me and my me and uh, a few of my boys, and okay. first nigga we ever seen go in the booth and record and you know engineering. We like man, this shit crazy. Like right. man, this nigga's really doing it. Man. And he showed us where they studio was. I used to go to Bone Studio every day after school. The niggas wasn't ever there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I realized, man. Rappers record at night. They don't record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Don't Busy Bone got a son that be doing music? Man, all of them. They they all in a group. Okay. Yeah, yeah. lazy, lazy I, kid, busy kids. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I seen Busy. That's what I was saying. I seen his son perform at one of the right. events in South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah. They be, like, they, be, they be going there too. Like, they like, like his dad, like <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, for real. Talk like them too. He cold. He cold too. Now I think that whole like even I don't know if you call it, yeah you put Cleveland like Midwest yeah, y'all yeah, Midwest, like, yeah. Midwest yeah. y'all all had like that that vibe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not like West Coast, but it's. I don't know. It's like its own. <laughs> it it's own like you can't little, really. Yeah, it's its like, own little I think, shit. I think it is because like West, West Coast is like California. You know what I'm saying? Right. You think of West, West Coast, West, you just West, think of West. one state. When you Midwest, you can think of uh, you know Ohio, St. Missouri, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. So you got Chicago, St. Louis, yeah. Cleveland, and they don't know like out Michigan, there, like Michigan can sit us out. Yeah, it's Midwest. Yeah, Midwest. Midwest. Kind of, like they, you know, they real players out there too, bro. Like yeah. for real, Detroit, St. Louis, Detroit, Memphis. Yeah. Even Memphis Cleveland niggas the south though, yeah. ain't it? Oh, yeah, real pimping. Yeah, home. real pimping, bro. I think like, Memphis considered the south. I'm talking I mean, about real, but it's like it's yeah. like you know it's on that border, right down. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it on the border. border. It's like Louisiana, the south, but you know it's up that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cincinnati's so close to uh, so close to Kentucky. Like Them the niggas got a little accent too. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah. Hey, racist is fucking Cincinnati. Man, you ain't lying. Kentucky too. Keep my cool ass out of there. For real. I see how T Grizzly got jammed up. Man. For real, they fucked up out there. Nah, they are. Like people don't even know. Like it's, it's it. bad. Them boys yeah. doing crashing goals. That's what they call snatching goals. He tried. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. <laughs> wow, man. I That's seen it. the interview. He he put it. He laid it out there. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. So you got any uh, projects out now? You like what you what yeah, you yeah. want the people to listen to yeah, right man, now? I just, I, I just put out uh, the most known unknown uh, two months ago, man. I'm still working on that. Um, I'm uh, about to put out in two in two months. I'm about to put out um, my third mixtape, um, No Cosign Two. It's a sequel to the first one. Both of them on datpiff.com, man. You catch okay. me on uh, on SoundCloud, man. Charles McQueen. No, just. Doing, uh, shoot my own videos, record my own music, just doing everything in house. Like the real grind. Yeah, yeah, literally, record and run to the mic, and right. then come back and then cut it off. Hey, you that's done that. any performances? Yeah, yeah, I did a few. I did a few. Um, especially um, October, November, December, and I slowed down for a little bit, try to get back on this project. Right. Um, so, you know, did my thing on the um, flip phone, the movie. I Wait, caught okay. you. We was out there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 out there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When's that coming out? Coming it's soon. Man. Coming, coming soon. soon. Okay. Coming soon. Yeah, yeah. Man, shout out to Donna Four Films, man. Show, man. man. Yeah, yeah. man, so, man. Yeah, yeah. man, so, man. I appreciate her so much, man. She ain't have to, uh, you know, she ain't have to fuck with a nigga, but she did. 
gave a nigga raw. So All right. Forever appreciative of that. For real, <laughs> man. Hey, man. So what y'all think about this Kobe shit? Shout out to Kobe, first man. of all, man. man. You know, I repeat it, like, yeah, probably, like, just, top three. We just three. was talking about Kobe on the radio on my show all last night, man. It's, it's just crazy. how it happened, I mean, and it's like, he represents a lot for a lot of people. Just so. imagine, though, just think about it. You on that plane or, that, or the helicopter, you know it's going down. Like, all you could do is just, like, hold your See, that's my whole thing is, why crash. helicopters don't have no plan B? Like, why they don't have no escape? There's no escape goat. There's they no do, parachutes. Though. There's no... Nah, you do. can't do a parachute on I, that. I, I, and they they kind of like, say, jump yeah, right yeah, before it crashed. Yeah. They kind of say, like, it, it didn't even have the right prep, the prep, um, like, precautions. You know what I'm saying? They say, I don't really know what it is, but all the people be saying, like, helicopters have a black box. I don't know what a but black a black box can't save you. A black box just records what True. happens. Yeah. Nah, they didn't have some crucial piece of yeah. They weren't equipment. required to have it though, right? But it, it said if they I, had it, it would have saved. I don't know. You can't even say right, that. Right. It's just the weather, mother nature too. Like they shouldn't have been up. There. They shouldn't have been up yeah, there. No, definitely not. You know what I'm saying? But like the impact Kobe done had on like I know I remember I watched Kobe like shit. I was in like middle school when he went to the <laughs> league, really? so. From like middle school on, you sit back and you think about it. Kobe, like, oh, uh, just think about it. we'd be sitting in class, we'd be like, yeah, we were in class. Kobe. Kobe, like, we don't say Jordan because, like, we, we ain't even, like, it ain't make sense, really. We didn't, mm -hmm. you I say went, Kobe, because all he do is shoot, he gonna shoot that one, right? Like, yeah, everybody remember? knew he was gonna ball, yeah. All that, yeah. Hey, but everybody knew where he was going. I wasn't a Kobe basketball fan, me neither, me neither. But I was a but Kobe person fan. Yeah, like yeah, you can't, yeah, he yeah, like yeah. Kobe yeah. was like Kobe like Tom Brady. Like I'm not a Tom Brady fan, but like yeah. he the greatest quarterback exactly. all the time. Yeah, yeah, like can't. I hate it too. You can't like deny you, it. Yeah, yeah, you can't. He just that dude. Y'all seen the little cartoons though? Yeah, well he came from out. like three years, three, four yeah. years ago. Uh, the helicopters yeah, crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, I ain't seen it on the Simpsons, but they say it's on the Simpsons too. That's crazy. You know what's crazy though? That ain't the first thing that had been on the Simpsons that. It's true. Um, true. Has not happened. That doesn't came to pass. It's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Everything they do come to pass, man. I seen a little thing. They had Trump yeah. in it. Trump funeral. I was like, man, I ain't fucking <laughs> with it. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying to tell you. I'm waiting. They trying to impeach him, but that's gonna take forever. They so already like, did it. They just got it. It's just a process now. He he getting out of there. It's yeah. done. They just gotta. They gotta. Nah, but process. now you gotta go through that second step. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like they remove they gotta, him. There has yeah. not been a there. You there gotta has go not through his people coming, to remove him, which he made coming. it set up that way. He made it set up so you gotta go through his people. But it's gonna go through. Guaranteed. This might sound crazy, and y'all, I don't want no one to take this out of context. But I'm a Trump fan. Like I'm not a supporter of Donald Trump, but you admire how he handles his. Situation. He a gangster. How he do. Have you, you know read his saying? book? Yeah. I haven't. I Have you seen the documentary? On man, listen, man. A couple of hey, <laughs> you read the man book. Like he tell you how they live off of credit. How white people live off of credit. Right. Crackers don't have people don't have, white people don't have no job. <laughs> <laughs> they living straight off of credit. Why are you looking at me? I'm Japanese. I ain't looking at you. Okay, okay, I'm mixed I'm with white. Say. I got white in me. I can yeah, say that I'm shit. I'm white too. Mm. So. Like shit, I can say that. Just cause I look black. Look, at, I got. Good ass hair, <laughs> but like it's, white, it's so. just Donald Trump and his determination to win is like impeccable. ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Man. He, he got that like, money though. He do, and I I ain't gonna feel him if he was black. He the only one. If he was black, he, I'd be the biggest Donald Trump supporter, for real. Bro. Right? He just, you know what I'm saying? He, like, I don't he ain't with, for us though. Yeah, he ain't nah, for he us. He's not for us. He all. not for us, but I get what you're saying because I could at my us. at least. This is what he told you he was gonna do. Around. Like if you listen to him when he was on, he said he was gonna do all he said of this he was gonna shit. Grab he's bitches smart. by the pussy though. Yeah. And that's the he, he, he's he's disrespectful, but, but he's people, smart as fuck. Well. But his mentality, fuck. people need to take and take it up on themselves. Like I don't know if y'all know who Dare Grace is. Um, he out of Tampa. Dare Gracie the dude with all the tattoos on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Buddy, 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 nice. And he talked. He know got the saying? kids that yeah, know you all know this shit. He basically putting people. Oh, up he on. from Tampa? Yeah, I did from, not know he that. From Tampa. The gun dude. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm yeah. He from Tampa. And now he just got his girl but involved. But basically, he like a Donald Trump because yeah. he takes everybody's idea and make it his own. Right. You feel me? He basically made his own monopoly game. He got his own action figures you got it? of his kids. You, you know what I'm saying? Like. The game? You got the game? No, no, no. I no. think I'm going to get it, yeah, man. man. It, it's it's yeah. like, 
It it's might, a yeah. a bank. What is it called? Like a bank? In home banking. In home banking. That's yep. what it is. Definitely in home banking. banking. In home banking. Nah, but I've been checking him. He like his shit. Well, yeah, he legit. He, then, he yeah. trying to just put you up on game and what you need to do with your money and, right. and how you need to spend it and where you need to spend it and what type of like business investments you need to make in yourself and how your right paperwork and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So all that is very. You know, you know him personally? No, I don't know him personally. I met him a couple of times. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know him personally. And he a, he a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like. I want to meet buddy. Yeah. I, Cause I I follow him. I didn't seen his videos. I didn't seen him. Show his kids how to this is this disassemble uh uh you know what I'm saying AK right M four and put that shit back together right with the with the uh blindfold on yeah. the little girl like oh she was like what six seven years old yeah at the Blind time folded. oh wow yeah he's home took that bitch kids. apart and put it back together that's hard. Real deal. Oh. Hey, Shells, you had an event like last weekend, oh, yeah, like this? a speed date. I was just yeah, about to ask you how that thing go. You know, I, was, yeah. I could go oh, through that. Yeah. Uh, it was know. funny because <laughs> you know? at first people was kind of like, okay, but when you when you rotate and talk to different people and have different conversations, it's not necessarily, oh, I'm going to find some. But blah, I'm blah, saying, whatever. like, with some like bad bitches there. Like, we was had, it? We had was few, it? We had nobody few. found I love. got a match. Yeah, we had a match. You said you had a match? No, not me. Oh. <laughs> but someone had a match. So that was, you know, I feel like. Where were they at? They was over there in the couch. Over there on the couch. Yeah, they was on the couch. <laughs> but, you know, like, at the end of the day, like, you sit there, you meet people, yeah. different conversations, and it's pretty interesting. It was fun. It was definitely fun. Did you participate? Yeah, I participated. How was it? It was fun. We had so Chapman in the building. Why you ain't? Why you ain't connect with nobody? Right. You ain't had no love connection. Man, right. I, my mind's on a lot of other things. I think you know that's not the time for me, like to be dating right now. Uh, so Speed. basically, you would just cap. The whole time they would speed dating you. No, not even. If I find someone, would count, if what'd you, you say? People know. say you just gotta wait for it. You can't look for it, right? So it was just really just fun to have. Damn. People was really looking for some men, though. That was the crazy part. Like, girls really do want to find love. So, so it, was more chick, it was more chicks yeah, than dudes. That girls right. definitely, like, men be sleep. Like, girls really do want to find somebody, like, that be down. But y'all be just, like, in messy situations. Y'all, huh? I just said, yo, I don't have to include. Like, what's the messy situation? We just, out, we just situation? out here alone, huh? Like, I feel like <laughs> females don't be in messy situations. Right, just us, man. Damn, we do too. We I said shit. everybody, it's all right. we ain't everybody. Shit. I know I ain't shit. No, we all be in messy situations. <laughs> females, ain't no, messy. I am shit. I'm, I'm the shit. The shit, mean, right? Why avoid that shit at all? Costs. Well, you married, so you, you, you right. exactly. So you you chose just to be married at a young age, but hey. Yeah, what it is. That's really the key, right? Like, now. if you could go back, would you do it over again? Like, you know, like that? Uh, no. Nah. I would have waited. You would have waited? But I would, I would, I would still be with my my wife, though. Oh. But you would have had a child. Nah, we would have. I don't know. <laughs> like, you think I mean, <laughs> the results still would have been the same? Do you <laughs> think kids cause a lot of marriage more so than wanting to be married? Hell yeah. Come on, fuckers think Like I gotta stay with your ass Cause right? like, we got kids Bitch I ain't gotta stay people. with you mm. Yeah that is true I ain't Like I don't have to stay with you Do what I need to do Motherfucker But that takes maturity Some <laughs> guys are immature And they think they just Gotta stay with that person Man fuck no I do I understand that You know what I'm saying Sometimes I be feeling like that with about, like, like you, you should like be with them You should I should, just, I should yeah. Especially like when you have a kid and you like deal with other women, mm -hmm. like women are so stuck on each other and like want like a next woman to be happy, whatever it is, girl code, whatever. Like they all be like, no, this. that's a fact. That shit is real. They be like whatever. If just niggas be with stuck your, together, just like be with that, your baby mama. Over just it. be with her. I'll be like. Hey, you over here kicking with me? Why are you trying to be with my baby mama? I could never. My baby daddy be. I'll be like, no, I can't. Like after so many years, you just be like, nah. You can't even look at them the same. Like, it's be like, what the fuck? It's true, though. It <laughs> should be serious. I guess, yeah, some people just grow apart. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's just a part of you life. You do grow mm -hmm. apart. For real. You evolving. You, like, you want something new, something different. It's straight. You just got to do it. Social media don't help either. Boy. 
That, is <laughs> that shit is the fucking devil, bro. I destroying relationships. I mean, <laughs> shit. Destroying. How, 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 how is that? How? How my, my wife what got my username. What's the worst part about for y'all? What makes social media yeah. nah, for y'all? Nah, ain't no y'all. For men, for men. For men. What do you think? Hold on, hold on. My bad. Let me re-question. What do you think? I think they missed it. What yeah, do you think is to. the hardest part about social media when it comes to we men? We're going to come back to that. Huh? What do you mean? Like, I don't what? know. Because my wife got what my you username What you mean social media is a temptation so. for a man? This out the gate. Okay. You know, I mean, you feel me? Thirst trap is real. They out here every day throwing booty and titties all over the internet. Yeah, that shit get old though. Once you, you know get a certain, yeah, once yeah. you get a certain age though, it's a yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah, I don't even you give get, a fuck about it's a that. Choice. It's just, but I get it. It's some nice I'm just talking about there. what it still do psychologically. Like yeah. you might not do. act on it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Your conscious, thought, your conscious is being affected. There. That's it. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? You might not be trying to act on her, but then all you might you might see a bitch walking look just like her. Like, oh damn, I gotta jump down. You feel me? Like you just might <laughs> <laughs> straight up. Man, stay so you just the, gotta see if you still got it. That's it. Man, stay out the DM at all costs, man. For real. Man, yeah. Definitely. I'm Screen not on cat shot. with you. They like, like them. They keep everything too. Like y'all keep everything. Don't you hate when you like, like nigga? Y'all don't delete DM. shit. I'm talking about y'all just wait for that perfect moment to throw it too. Y'all don't delete your <laughs> motherfucking thing at all. That's facts. But you said your wife got your username and password. You know, so there's the, <laughs> there's, there's no way you can you can likely to, like how many years bro, before she got that now, shit. Hey, it's some more shit that keep me in line. Oh, too, have another got. one. Check her out. <laughs> hey, we got some more shit too that keep me in line too, man. I don't know why. Just shit. Fuck it. You don't know why. Just like they just asked for it out of out of nowhere. <laughs> nah, we got. Or like out. that. Like you did some shit that warranted. I need Something to have like your that. like. <laughs> I wrote everything down. Here you go. Boop 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 boop. boop. <laughs> Twitter, so Instagram, you did that Facebook. to like so you, so just to build that trust back up like fuck it I ain't got shit else to hide phone code here you damn. go damn you got it I right. laid my shit around fuck it I ain't got nothing but that's to hide. how you supposed to be you married yeah. exactly you think so you ain't got a trap phone in, or a, in a in a way in shape or form like just you said you think so like you really got know you heard what I just said right you heard what I just said the internet is a trigger already mm. so him the knowing that his shit. wife has information yeah, yeah. he gotta lay back off his triggers you know Facts. what i'm saying he just said doing that keeps him away from doing things that oh. he would normally do you feel Keep me so that's line. like that's a maturity thing for him like i'm not gonna count you. i <laughs> think that helps all, his man, triggers i guess <laughs> Like, I ain't never had one, but I just see the <laughs> shit people go to. Facebook is the devil, bro. Yeah. I don't fuck with Facebook. Oh you never gosh. had a Facebook? No. Damn. I don't fuck with Facebook. I had too much shit going on. Okay, I understand. People don't fuck with Facebook. Nah. Facebook is the fair. People though. do yeah, fuck. Yeah, they is. People do fuck with no. Facebook, though. I ain't do you gonna know? Lie. Mm -mm. It's really like Instagrammers and it's Facebookers. Like, for real. Mm -hmm. It's what? Instagrammers and it's Facebookers. I oh, feel like. Make a like, living off of it Oh yeah, you know, yeah I'm saying like Some people don't like IG And some people Right oh. You feel me They like Facebook It's like PlayStation that. Xbox They ain't bring my space yeah. back My space Huh <laughs> I ain't never had one I was never got your space I would never know Social media dude they, that, was, that was the first one I think so My space well, was cool Oh yeah My space was Nah. I can't really remember it. You could like format your own web page. Like you could put music. It was pretty cool. It still is know. though. You know, it's it's still the uh, MySpace still work. It's in the not, top. It's in the serious? top ten. In yeah. the top five. Yeah. They gonna come back. If Who you goes to fuck? If you remember, you remember, if you remember the generation, generation. Used to ride, used to go hard. And they used to be hating hey, though. Used to use they used to hate so hard on on But who still like? Who still uses like I'm. Does Nobody anybody uses. in here use MySpace no, still? Y'all look generation. like y'all still use MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> or email, right? You can't even know email if, But if you remember, you can definitely log in. I am. Word. But you got to think about how helpful MySpace was. Like, that was the first platform for people to mm -hmm. even put their music out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You can put your music on your page. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah. thing to come on, on you can hear mm -hmm. on yeah. the background. On the you background know what I'm saying? Page, yeah. You can make your background you, your yeah. logo. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? MySpace taught a lot to this it whole did. beginning now, of the social Facebook media. Be that's how I got hit the rock. They started doing that, huh? Mm -hmm. I said that's how I got hit the rock on MySpace. MySpace, MySpace. yeah. That was your song? No, it was my song. That's the first time I heard it. I never forget though. Rocko hard. Yeah, Rocko hard. Hey, so you got a million dollar artist. You sent us some music. I did. What um? What song you want us to? 
Uh, you can either it don't even matter. Star Power, Mr. Freeze, or or Bounce, whatever. Like feeling the vibe. Mr. Freeze is a solo record just by me, and um, Star Power. That's uh, me and two other artists. I feel like a star, so we gonna go with Star Power. <laughs> yeah. You say you what now? I feel like I always feel like a star. Right. Bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's we gonna go to Star hey, you heard Power. How he said he said he feel like a star. Baby. He ain't never yeah. heard the song now. Better check out <laughs> feeling, baby. Hop in the right, baby, I'ma take you on a star chase I got money, I can take you to a far place Me and you together, baby, that's really good Fresh up out the suburbs, but I'm a little hood I've been around the block a lot, but I'ma treat you good Just take me as I am, baby, I'm misunderstood since the day I met you, yeah, I kinda sweat ya But if you ever fall, I guarantee I'ma I'm catch ya Feeling like a star Yeah, 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 yeah I've been yeah, driving for a yeah, car Yeah, 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 yeah I'm a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, exotic bro Yeah, 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 yeah I can yeah, find yeah, out the yeah, bar yeah, yeah. Hold up, Rick, I got it Earth tone Ben's exotic And a bad bitch and she bought it Oh, yeah Back to back, hand in a molly I'ma hit her and a friend, that's a probably More like betting with the eyes of somebody Reflaring my drippers on ooze But I'm floating when I'm in the booth We scoring, so give me the loop But please do not try me, my niggas are shooting They all on the pool, and I'm probably gonna do So the question is, what you gonna do? My niggas is chill, real hitters for real But homie, to do what you do Traded that roll again for that AP But that was last week or maybe last year I'm so past here G5, scratch that, stratosphere Now we out of here, better catch up Model to a Benz, it's a bless up If you're trying to bring a friends, I'm a match up I'm a point guard to my friends, I'm a pass I've been driving for a cause. I've been fucking out the bars. I've been buying out the bars. I've been feeling like a star. I've been feeling like a star. I've been driving for a cause. I've been fucking out the bars. We've been buying out the bars. We've been buying out the bars. It was all a dream. Scaling the mic, make fast fiends. Now it's heavy lyrics and Rick D in the limousine up, Star power like Mike Jack, I'm off the wall Now I'm in the O2, I was running for the law Now I'm in the studio, 10 hours straight Cause it's more than a job <laughs> Sweat and tears go behind these bars Foreign bras and foreign cars Bottle service looking like stars Lighting up the bar, hurt bro, then cube cigars W from the top floor, watch the Nuggets game And I'm on the floor, I'm not in the Rafe yet But I'm close to the stars, feeling like a man now How can someone beat me? Put your bet on me, I ain't watch the TV only strong survive, know I stay flexing. Anger power, my depression. Yeah. Only bitches and real niggas in my section. Throwing money, gotta count my blessings. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah, driving yeah, yeah, for my cars. I've been fucking Zoddy Bros. I've been buying out the bars. I've been feeling like a star. I've been driving for my cars. Call from Snoop. To accept, press one. Yeah. There we go. Hey. What it do, bro? Well, how Miami treating you, dog? Yo, yo. I'm just calling in, checking in, man. I got the homie Rick D. Hey, what up? Oh, up you know? Man, it was a long drive, but I'm here. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, do what you want to do, radio. You already know. Yeah. Hey, man, how Miami treat y'all in, in, in the cannon game, bro? Oh, oh we, we, we just chilling, man. We just was... We do it promoting like hell. Uh, y'all putting that work. I see y'all. Wait, yeah, uh, yeah, we... where he performed that last night? KOD. Huh? Where he performed that last night? Oh, he performed at KOD. We we are turned up. West Orlando was an epic turn. Yeah, I already. I seen it on the ground. Yeah. What y'all got going tonight? Oh, uh, we we probably gonna go to KOD again. I got on um, fat swag. He he just came down. 
Like Man, I was supposed to listen. Boy. I was supposed to. I was, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be in the Escalade with with goddamn fat, bro. But you know, I said I'll stay and do the show, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I was supposed to get the Escalade for the week. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying yeah. to hold the Escalade for the week. <laughs> Nah, but that's hard though, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I wish I could. I might come down there tomorrow to fuck with y'all boys if y'all ain't back up here. Who that, Riley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. We. They going to. I don't know. If we we gonna probably go to KOD G Five. We kind of went to most of the clubs earlier and just put posters and promo and stuff. So. Right. 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 You sound tired, boy. Yeah. Hey, you sound, boy, that boy, that boy that, sound like he's a, he's a, on on the brown on that lit. already on that on that, <laughs> on that, on that lit already. Or, oh boy, you ready to Crack. call it a night? Nah, I done took all kinds of perks and Benadryl <laughs> and everything. I got a I got a damn toothache. <laughs> Some pot on that bill. <laughs> yeah, that BC powder. <laughs> Not me right on you. You know that two fake boy. That shit got me about to call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that what they say about them two face boy. I, I'm blessed not to have one, but they say the motherfuckers is hell. Mm. Yeah, for real. And y'all got the boy. Y'all got the boy Rick D on do what you want to do radio, man. We be hanging out, man. Hey, man, I'm out here, man. It's that's been, that. That's that Tampa connection. Huh? It's been a good vibe, dog. Uh, we just um, yeah, yeah. We linked up. I don't know how many. I think we linked up through the gram, but it was like through someone mutual we had already knew, and we kind of just been doing business and rocking since. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. With that, you um, talking about how we linked? Yeah. Oh we no, we linked in through all in, huh? Yeah, no, nah, we link we link when we were doing the um Thursdays at um at Club Sky. Right, through all in. Right. That's what I was saying. He yeah, had, yeah, yeah. He had booked me um for a show. Yeah, we turned up that night too. We was lit. You know, Temple yeah, party yeah, different, yeah. bro. Yeah, they y'all party like y'all really party. They try to. Nah, uh, y'all party, bro. They, Coming they, from here with shit be like low key Hollywood, y'all party. Cause, nah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like they try to party, they do, they do a good job. You know what I'm saying? But like when I'm when I be like party, I mean like a lot of people swinging, great vibe, good energy. You know what I'm saying? So like Miami, right? They party. You feel me? Like they lit crowds, buildings is swole. You know. Tampa, you might you might have a good weekend this weekend. Then the next weekend it's gonna be womp womp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, what like what happened? You know what I'm saying? So Nah, that's true, but when I'm saying when y'all do party when it's a when it's a when it's a crowd, bitch. Yeah, yeah. It, y'all party, bro. Yeah, but you talking about me, I party. Like I go dummy. I need to like slow down. Like I just <laughs> like I just party last night. Like, you know, I had a host in that lookers. On Thursday, I'm I'm Lookers. Yeah. I had yeah. a show at Look. Is that yeah. the strip club? Yeah, yeah. I had a show there. Yeah, see, I was swinging all night. I took about three, four dancers to the house, plus the ten people I was with in the section. We went back to the crib. Like we didn't even go to the after hours, and we just was. I'm talking about hanging out till the sun come up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I be rocking out. Like <laughs> I be trying I, for real. If I wasn't at the crib, I'd have been at the after hours. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I man, we come through Tampa, we can holler at Rick D. For can, real, he can. Really like to party. I'm telling you, we can hang out now. Real talk. Yeah, see, you yeah. Them type of parties? Yeah, we just threw a, um, we just threw a, um, decent mansion party. You was there? No, yeah, I told him to come through, man. I try to get him to come vibe. Man, with we us. need the link. We need it. We need the link. with do what you want to do. We we'll throw a party out there with you, bro. Yeah, for for sure, for sure. For sure. Have yeah. a live live podcast, live from the mansion. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we always partying, man. Yeah, yeah. they party. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all be lit. That's hard, <laughs> bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, so <coughs> McQueen. Yeah. <clears throat> How was the transition like from like what's the di- like what's the big difference you see from Cleveland to Florida like even in in like your music like has it have like coming down here influenced your music more you yeah, still yeah, a lot, a lot. you know what I mean are you still yeah. like 
Cleveland. No, I'm still, I'm still Cleveland. I just got, I just got, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of Florida influence, a lot of Southern influence to it. Uh, right. Yeah. When I first moved here, it was, it was a bit of a culture shock, but you know, yeah, it's a big mentality but, difference. Yeah. I like what? Yeah. yeah. Meaning, yeah, like what? Like what? Like what you think is the big? Like, do y'all think y'all work more together? Or are y'all more unified than we are? No, or no, they not, no, they ain't, they ain't more unified. But you know, just. Just that hustler spirit when I got here, man. When I got here, man, Obama just got in the office. Just niggas on the side road selling Obama cheese. Niggas, right. niggas barbecuing, <laughs> selling peanuts. It's like, man, yeah. everybody trying to make a dollar. I need to get in on this. Like, if you right. ain't making no money, shit, they gonna hit somebody. Grandma doing something. Everybody was making money, so I just right. like, I just like the uh, the hustler spirit I, um, when I got out here. I think the biggest hustle is the uh, the magic trick guys downtown. What? Man, the classic weekend. What? Does you know how many boss? people I see them get? Like the little pine, yeah, I, it's a pine. It's called a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. Almost like it's just, they be high, having man. it right here in this little pinky, and they just drop it in. The I don't understand how they got one of them niggas' heads off, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't got me. You how, much? Much? Like, how much? They on tongue. Come on, man. <laughs> like, I'm Damn. Look, look, look. It, it, so so the scheme. They do for motor I don't know the scheme, though. No, no, yeah, I know the scheme. But I'm no, 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 not even that. It ain't that. I'm a people watcher, so I. That's the key. This shit be under the damn thing. It's the people. It's the people. Yeah. So when it's they the call, people. when they call that first person to come up, and then you, and you think he went in and then yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? You. That's how they get you because they, they like, you. oh yeah, that's he like won. Friend. That bro, he part of the shit. And then yeah. when you had a, a, the third <laughs> nigga that walk over and be like, nah, bro, I'm a um. Nah, and yep. then they like little argument, bro. Yep. And then he be like, and then you, yep. and then the dude be like, nah, bro, I'm gonna give you money back then. Here, bro, yeah, all the scheme, bro. Yeah, yeah, hey. bro he really finessing your ass, your ass right there, cause now he got you to come in. Like now he got you thinking he an honest dude, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cause this winner, dude got screwed. You, got you know, you got the winner. You got yeah, you, you got, got the loser. <laughs> you got the and you got you like okay, shit, I'm gonna play. Got Man, to. the whole time, all three of them, they take you for. I seen somebody get. Uh, listen, I seen them get a rap on I'm somebody a, quick. But I'm gonna show you though. Quick, bro. The, thing, At the, outlets, the nigga. thing, the and thing, and the nigga let them get the bed. Let, yeah, let me tell you something though. Let me tell you something though. Let me tell you something though. A key to a key, back. another key to it too is when he when they have the ball, you know when they moving a the piece around, when they ask you which one, you have to go get it instantly, right? Because if you just be like. Is that one? Don't let him pick it up. No, he gonna talk to you. Right, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna talk you. you off your eye. Are you, you feel sure? me? I'm positive. I see. Right. Don't do say it. he gonna be like, "Are you sure that's the one?" <laughs> yeah, right. sure he's gonna be like, like, he gonna try to move yeah. that bitch. Something like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He gonna make you look at something else. As soon as your eye moves, it's done. So, you, I'm telling you, you better watch them three people that's with him. <laughs> I mean, cause they gonna distract you. They gonna. That's the, I don't I'm even care how people how get hit. Got, got catch his ass, boy. Knock his head off, boy. Bring him pockets, boy. God, boy, I, would, I probably would have stopped at the. Honey. I don't even think I would have reached. I see some people like ain't in me. I, I, mean, I, I be clutching every dollar, bro. I lose a dollar, I be mad, God. Oh. For real. Nah, for real. I, I ain't see. I ain't no gambling. Like I ain't no. I ain't I'll no play gambling. Like Jack. I, like I don't play shit. Nah, man. My homie said he done lost. Boy, one of my partners said he lost about three racks with one of them niggas. Nah, see, there ain't no way. He betting bands. You know though. who the you know who the oh, wor- you know who no. you know who the worst scammers is? Africans. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? Man, what? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh man. Go I ahead, got man. I got got for like five bands. Oh my god. <laughs> I got got for like five. That makes How? you want to kill somebody. You, I, that's what I'm saying. That's you, like, man, bro, I need man. my shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't even just. It wasn't even just. It wasn't even just me. It was like some. This shit like, it, was, it, was a, it was a few yeah. other niggas in the hood. People like, kill me to get it. So, it was a few other niggas in the hood. Like, and it was it, he. Hey. He, he got out. <laughs> they can't even speak Eli, and man. Everyone took he it out no for choice. it. Eli, change the subject. But I'm thinking Fuck. about this nigga right now, man. <laughs> I'm talking about we had niggas looking for this nigga downtown. We had niggas look. They, they, oh, man. they did that. I ain't going to lie to you. Wow. What he do? Thank, what's thank the God, scheme? Hey, thank God, out of you, though. Thank what's God the for the comeback. What's with, the scheme? How did the five I'm gonna tell you that. I'm going to tell you, so if, his, if you though. ever get approached mm-hmm. and the nigga say he can double up your money, mm-hmm. Don't oh, that believe was, it. That, that was that would have been a rap. No, 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 no. That sounds like one of them. That's like flipping your bitch no, taxes. No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's like no, turning. No, let me tell you. Turn let me, five no, bands to no, 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 no. Let me tell oh, you. The shit is real that he could do it. 
No, the shit is real. Like no cap. Like it's real. What's real? What what you can do with the money? Cause all you're doing is reprinting money. Oh shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. It's just a way you do it. Make it one. As long as you got the tools money to for do the it. Ink. As long as you got the shit to do it, you can do it. But he probably just get greedy. But, He's like, no, 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 I no, can no, do no. Both. What yeah. they what they part in it is is mm, finessing mm. you out of their money so they got your money to make their money. Exactly. Right. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. They get selfish. You see what I'm saying? So, they just say, so it's it. not it's not the fact that it's not real. It was real. I I watched it right then and there. Right. Right? I did a hundred on my own. Uh -uh. Put it in the bank. Pull it out. Oh yeah, let's run it. Five right. hands. Because oh, we was gonna run five in the ten. Thirty. <laughs> So you thought. So you yeah, thought. So you thought. <laughs> That's the same thing. Hey, boy. shout out to them though. They did it. You I know, you charge that one to the game. I know watching. what you're talking about. They do that. I know yeah, so for you Chicago, know they they, they do but you know, get your hundred to make five. <laughs> 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 but you know they got. I I don't feel as bad because they got a few niggas in the hood like that. I a few, it. and you know they just go state to state with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they finesse you good. They yeah, let you, yeah, they yeah, let you yeah, see yeah, it. They yeah. let you touch it. You know yeah. what I mean? So you thinking you good. Yeah. Ain't nobody got no Ran bag off with on the bag, boys head Oh, nah. It's, it's, I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody got something on them, but. You just got to find them. Yeah, yeah. you got to find them. <laughs> they be out. And they ain't no gangster ass niggas. They just. Smart. They smart, bro. They use, they use phones that have no, like, you don't need. Like, nah, phones. they just, you yeah, know, they, trap shit. Mm -hmm. Prepaid phones. You know, shout out to them. <laughs> shout out to them. Yeah, That's shout up, out man. to them. Man. You got to charge that they to the game. Africa, shout out to the game. Back in Africa, building a palace up there. Yeah, right, man, boy. please. Nah, them motherfuckers in the A somewhere. <laughs> now, what else been going on this week besides that? What y'all listening to, man, besides yourselves? Like, what's like what it, like what's inspired you this week? That new came out. I heard. Yo, Gotti got a banger. Man, yeah, that Gotti. I'm rocking Gotti that shit body. stupid. Wayne, I don't know, man. He should have. I'm like, wait, you're not you feeling Wayne shit. Respect. I'm like, I'm like, wait, I'm like, wait over Wayne though. No, I don't I'm a really do him. Fan, but this one, man, I ain't really too much rocking with it. Dang, did Wayne get arrested to try to boost up his sales again? He got arrested. Y'all hear about Wayne getting popped on the jet? Nah. But he didn't get wait, arrested what? for it. They we were. No, they said they, they, they had some weed or something. Or something. Yeah. Man, man, but he had don't nobody weed, care about guns, them damn meth, weed. ecstasy pills. He finna get off on that, but it probably they say Wayne got a private citizenship, so. They had to let him go. What I believe that, that. So it could have been. It means like stuff. basically, Who you're not, that? it's not like it, you're not, you don't even have a social security number. Like you're not a citizen of the of the country. Political it, shit, man. It's like some, some deep shit. You just like your own person. They say Kobe didn't even come to the U.S. till he was 16. He, hey man, I'm still here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why you ain't talking? <laughs> I told you what I just took, man. I took two perks of Benadryl. <laughs> hey. I don't fucked up. Hey, man, did that mean you, you need to go lay it down, bro? Go you lay it long. down, that bro. That Benadryl will put you down by itself. Yeah, bro. go lay it down. You on them perkies, perks, man. Uh, one might have did it, bro. You going, bro? Yeah, Riley. Riley, you know I can see you laughing at me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 I'm looking right at you, man. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need to lay it down, bro. Go lay it down, bro. You going Birkin right now, bro. You know the Perkins, the man. Lurky. Yeah, man. Go catch you some. Go, hey, go catch hey you Charles, some sheep, you let them know you on flip phone. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, did, yeah, man. He let mentioned you know, that. Man. Hey, man. Come hey, bro. Say when the movie coming out, bro. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> he say when it's coming out, bro. Yeah, for on the movie. Yeah, yeah. He said when he's coming out. Yeah. Man, we don't got no date, man. It's done, <laughs> man. We just waiting coming on the editing. Soon. Put words in my mouth, man. No rush, man. Make that thing right, man. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Oh, that's the date. Right it's coming now. soon, man. For every hood near you. Hey, man, we did our part. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. Shout we out. did our part, man. Shout out. We to did IV. our first movie. That was up. Shout out, yeah, to, yeah. Shout, shout out, out to Donafo. You know, I got my little cameo. Yeah, you know what I'm what saying. What you doing? Being me. Yeah. What I do? Chilling. Cool lightning. Cool lightning, bro. Be traveling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chilling. Yeah, we got a, we got a. I got another movie on. We finna start working on too, man. Y'all shooting a horror movie. Mm hmm. Y'all shooting a horror movie. <laughs> 
You said what? Y'all shooting a horror movie? Nah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of hard though. Hey, like a know. like a real. I can't. Like, I can't. I can't write. Hood. I can't write no horror script. A horror hood movie. Shit, you probably. That's why you got to collab, like bro. You got to get. You know what I'm saying? You got to collab, classic. bro. Uh, Tales uh, of the Hood, a classic. But like a real, like a I'm like saying, a good I'm, trash. I'm down. Like, I'm down to be a part of it, but I can't. I can't write it. You can shoot the ideas though. I don't even. I don't even watch a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they do they scare you for real? You said he don't. You, sleep, huh? with, you sleep with the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I watch a scary movie. <laughs> hey, wow, man. Hey, keep it I'm a type of person. I'm a type of person. I that shit stays in my head, so I'll be dreaming Dream, about that. Dreaming shit. about I don't that like, shit. I don't like to have them thoughts when I'm sleeping. Yeah. That's that's how I am too. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, no, not me. I dream about. You them. like scary movies? Like I dream. <laughs> I love them. Like my dream, my dreams be so crazy. It be like exactly what's going on. And mm -hmm. like whatever I was awake doing, I'm sleeping about it. Like it be it be so crazy. Like I had a dream. I was driving, holding my baby in my arms. Like, but I couldn't control the wheel to the car, and I'm almost about to crash. But I'm I'm really sleep with my daughter on my chest, like holding her. Yeah. Like, that should be scary. Like, you but you know, but you know, <laughs> you know, what, you know what it is. It's it's, it's like I don't. Like man, I'm not drinking, man. Come on, man. You know, you, you know. Got that, you see uh, it. Seventeen thirty-eight. At Remy. I ain't drinking tonight. I'm sober. <laughs> yeah, you got that dry. Nah, I just seen you I'm put a cup underneath the table. What you said, bro? I'm talking about you, your cup. Nah, nah, that's just some Baja Blast, dog. Oh. <laughs> that's just some Baja Blast, man. Riley, what you drinking on? Man, 1738, bro. Oh, everybody drinking on 1738? Yeah. We know Charles, you. you don't got no cup in your hand. No, Why sir. you so sober? Nah, man, I got I to gotta stay straight, man. I got to be up early in the morning. Uh. I already know Shell's how high as fuck over there. You know it, like always. <laughs> hey. Glass eye. <laughs> I've been cooling. <laughs> nigga, you you high as fuck. You on the Perkies, nigga? Right, you slow. Uh, yeah, you got all those. Beats. You on Perky and Benadryl? Right. right. What is that called? That's a double down. Man, I'm past high, man. I don't fucked up. <laughs> man, I'm about to call the ambulance. For real. Until we got called the ambulance. I bet that tooth don't hurt though. <laughs> I'm about to call an ambulance at any and any time. I'm about to call a psychological emergency. <laughs> yeah, you on the hey, perkies, bro. Well, stay straight. Don't let them know you off the perk, man. <laughs> you know what, man? You we don't need to let them see you to the psych ward. My bro. boy going Birkin right now, bro. Future, he going. Man, that's my first time ever taking them shit. My teeth was hurting, so I just was taking anything. You took two. <laughs> yeah, man. You should have took one. Yeah, you should have took. Oh, yeah. You should have took half a one. Half a one. Half a one. Oh. did it too. You should have took half a perk. That boy probably over there. It ain't a ten. I took like a seven. Yeah. Seven point five. They got a perk seven. That's close enough to a ten. You should have took half. Right. I'm, I'm yeah. still selling it for thirty dollars. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I fucked up when I took the Benadryl. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, you would have fucked up if you took it by yourself, boy. That Benadryl don't play, dog. Yo, that really stuck, though. That don't. shit might counteract, bro, for real. That yeah. shit really be man, really Y'all just pray for the kid, man. Y'all just pray for We got you. A moment of silence for, for Snoop. <laughs> we ain't trying to put no we ain't trying to scare shit. you, nothing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You feel me? <laughs> hey, just tell your people, whoever around you, don't let you sleep more than an hour. <laughs> oh, no, no, man. She don't fuck me up. I'm padding the two, bitch. She got me in this bitch. Spinning. <laughs> You ain't got no help over there, man. You ain't in the room by yourself, is you? Nah, I got, I got take off. I got take off over here. Oh, all right. He, ain't no man, help. he going, he going perky too. <laughs> Shot, he going loose nah, cannon. Nah, they ain't doing no perk. Oh, he can't be going perky. <laughs> what he say? What he say, yeah, bro? He, take... he said he don't pop perks. He pop niggas. <laughs> <laughs> 
But if he had it too fast, he'd be pumping uh, the purse. Well, a moment of silence for them niggas there, guys. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man, we about, to, we about to pop into this song, Snoop, man. Y'all hold it down out there in Miami, man. We, You know, we see when y'all get back, head up, bro. man. All right, man. Y'all hold it down the whole bro. I'm about to try to close my eyes and go to sleep for fun and play this shit up. Yes, All sir. Right, man. Y'all boys be safe out there. Take off. Don't let that man right. pass away, dog. We need you around here, Snoop. All right, man. I'm going to listen to that song. Whose song it is? Rick? Uh, nah, it's, it, nah you, you, it's my dog, uh, Hog and Ben Frank. All right. Yeah. One in the head, not really for real. Cause I got a whole lot of things that people steal. We go out to eat, I feel the bill. Yeah, a girl, you a snack, but uh, I need a meal. Beverly Hills, Pine Hills. I got a whole lot of places we can chill. We go out to eat, I feel the bill. Yeah, a girl, you a snack, but uh, I need a meal. Won't open my lips, less is biz. All of my drip, she suck me up, she swallow my kids Came with a bitch, she brought a stick, no pretend Don't give a fuck, cause they say it's better to give You know what it is, no going back, you made your bed Blowing Cali, not in Beverly, we in the hill My bae is snacks, you bring a friend, that's a meal New edition, I ain't Johnny Gill More fish in the sea, feel my rib Lil's been calling, warm myself, tell no deal don't know how to feel, and I'm being for real. Not really for real. Cause swallow the pain, so I pop the pill. One in the head, not really for real. Cause I got a whole lot of things that people steal. We go out to eat, I pay the bill. Yeah, girl, you a snack, but uh, I need a meal. Beverly Hills, Pine Hills. I got a whole lot of places we can chill. We go out to eat. I pay the bill, yeah, girl you a snack, but uh, I need a meal Jack and Jill, Jack and Jill, they went up a hill, they went up a hill. No really for real, no really for real. I'm really for real, I'm being for real. I'm related to glue, I'm related to I stick to myself, just so I can fit the yacht inside of my pants. I took out the belt, just so I can fit the mop inside of the trunk. I took out the broom. You see, you calling me daddy, then I'ma put say inside of her womb. I hope you don't think that I'm sweet, took her on sweet, don't be up a fool. I used to do shit for the stars, but she got a full moon. Selfish, you only think about yourself. You wasn't being for real. But I know how you feel, and I'm being for real. I'm tryna fuck, so she tryna chill. Sorry, but I popped a monkey, I'm going banana, so you got a pill. One in the head, not really for real. Cause I got a whole lot of things that people steal. We go out to eat. I pay the bill, yeah, girl you a snack, but uh, I need a meal Beverly Hills, Pine Hills, I got a whole lot of places we can chill We go out to eat, I pay the bill, yeah, girl you a snack, but I need a meal Beverly Hills, Pine Hills, I got a whole lot of places we Hey man, we back, we back, we back. Do what you wanna do, radio man. We got Charles McQueen in the building, man. We got Rick D in the building. You know, Shells, Mixed Breed. I go by Riley, man. So who y'all got at the Super Bowl? Who winning? I got the Chiefs. My dog, my dog handling business. My dog own business, handling business. Right, you see him. <laughs> you see him. You know what I'm saying? Nah, my dog, you don't tell him, man. I'm from Cleveland. I was one of his brothers. I was trying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I had to check him out, see if he was really out there. <laughs> no cap. Right. So who? I got, I got on. Um, I want that boy Mahomes, bro. I want him to catch one. Who in the Super Bowl? Yeah, I like, I like the 49ers and the, and the Chiefs yeah. And 49ers yeah. I, It's kind of whack I feel like I wanted the Ravens in it So it's kind of I'm not really Yeah I want that it. I really want that boy You know Florida stand up Lamar Jackson yeah, You know yeah. He you know Down south represent but Way from like Bo Key or something I think I don't You know, know. He's not too far Yeah Bo Key yeah, I, grew up, I grew up Rocking with the Niners man So you know He think they gonna do it Who got yeah. money on it I ain't got no. Told you I don't bet, man. I tell you, man. I'm tired of playing the bread. 
I know people in Vegas. I heard that mm, Vegas nah, better be making people be making money off. Yeah, hell yeah. Most I think on um, they got the forty nine is up. So but like if you bet for forty nine is you gonna make money. You gonna make some. But if you bet on Cause they gonna win? And that's what Vegas got them winning. Oh, okay. But if you bet the Chiefs and the Chiefs, so man, the Chiefs are you're the going underdog. dummy. You're definitely going you going dummy. Right. You going up up. I don't I don't care. That's all I got. I don't even yeah. Man, I can't tell you last time I watched the Super Bowl. So you don't watch sports? I watch basketball. Basketball. So yeah. who's your team? Action. Right now, man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm going with the Clippers dog. Whoa. Why? Man, cause Kawhi is just yeah. too, too tough, bro. Like, <laughs> like why I you just, like why you think that? Cause it, I cause I never seen someone game just so humble and so polished. Like, and he controls the tempo. It don't matter how fast his opponent is going. He can slow you down, and he not gonna. You, I mean, he just he just control the game. You know what I'm saying? And he just. He just so surprising. You feel me? Like when you think he gonna shoot, he gonna shoot past you. Think he gonna lay it up, he finna dunk it on you. You think he gonna dunk it, he gonna lay it up in finesse. Like he he gonna he can hit in the clutch. You know what I'm saying? He can play defense. He gonna rebound. He just an all around player, right? Nah, he is he is fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't really be like on nobody wave like that. But when a dude is like humble like that, that's when they usually get like the respect for me. Like I always been like my favorite player in the league was. Richard Hamilton coming up, you know what right. I'm saying? He just was a moving Shout around. out to Detroit. Feel me? He just moved around. He was. I was rugged, just watching you know highlights saying? of him. Actually, and they then, call him Rip something, right? Yeah, Rip. <laughs> you feel me? And then and then it was Ray Allen. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like those uncocky uh, players who just chill and just you know just do work. That's why I wasn't always like a Kobe fan. You know what I'm saying? Because he just always was just too cocky. I think for me. Uh, but yeah, and but I like, like that shit. I Some like, people do I like when the nigga Get on court And you just feel like Nigga I'm the best Cause when I got on that court When I did anything When I get dressed I'm like bro I don't give a fuck When niggas is out here I'm like I'm yeah. it nigga mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying And I feel like That's what Kobe yeah. That's it, how You have to be That's the mentality That he was talking about I mean you have to have confidence You yeah, got to like, like you got to Like yeah. you got to So like You know like The Bruns The Kobe's The Jordans mm-hmm. The Iversons, the that was my shit. The yeah, Tracy, you know, McGrady. T Mac. Yeah, T Mac. Shit like that was my shit. Yeah, them I, niggas, I, yeah, I was an Iverson fan though. Them niggas knew it because he's an underdog no matter what. Because he was just a little. He was just and he was entertaining. Yeah. He had them handles for that. Man, that man was just. Tr- he like, had culture to him too. Like he ain't changed. Yeah, like he is. Right. The, like he man. He the reason these niggas is play able how to they do play. They, and the shorts yeah. went past yeah. the uh, knees. Yeah. He the reason Knee, they they're able tattoos. to do what they doing now. The braids, he, the, all that. Yeah. He the reason why now, uh, before, like that's how you know who be the everybody greats. Everybody had to wear. When I say uh, the like greats, suits. like I think um Kobe is definitely a legend, but Kobe was more of a Laker legend. Like when you have somebody like Shaq, Shaq was like the most dominant player that's ever. That's crazy. LA lost. You feel what I'm saying? Like he changed the game. Like Shaq changed the game. Like you had to have rules for Shaq. They made hacker Shaq like. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. when you have players like Iverson, they changed rules for Iverson. He made a whole culture like tattoos, the braids, mm-hmm. the swag, the you know what I'm saying? They banned this man crossover Jordan. You know what I mean? Like they banned shit because of Iverson. You right, changed right, the right, game. Right, 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 That's right. a great. That, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, Brian? They, Brian, you changed free agency. We never seen an athlete mm-hmm. like him. That's six nine. That's moving like that. He changed the game. You changed yeah. the way niggas saw how they make money. You know what I'm saying? How can I make money? Your impact, I, the impact. Yeah, the impact of the game is different. Steph but Curry, Kobe you're great. Ain't, Kobe ain't changed nothing. Kobe I don't think crazy. he changed. I think he changed niggas' mentality. He was just man. I'm the, gonna tell you. I just want to tell you the why dedication. I don't hard know. Work, the, now I can go with that. Work. I can it's say like that. I could go with that. How much work he put in, man? He dedicated that mamba mentality. That mentality. Like, they got, got a name for it. Yeah, it. Bro, like, listen, that, they built it. They got a name for it. When you watch him on the court, like, and then it's like it really transfers to him as a person. Exactly. And he's that same person off the court. Like, if you just had that goal and that ill will to win and thrive and don't lose, you could take that mentality. But I don't think anything you doing. But I, but I, that 
it, that is his impact but he was, on the game. If you ain't see, he was a mentor though. Like yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. he led so much. Like he led. Like he would be a coach. Like he was gonna be a coach. He was gonna be a women's coach. Like he had a lot of stuff going on. That's I what feel I'm like. saying. Like, no, he um. He did say he was. He was, he was gonna change the uh, WNBA. No, his gonna daughter was gonna change the WNBA. His daughter was gonna be like it. But he was no, nah, she bad. Like no, it. His daughter was gonna be. But he it. was gonna be like the commentator for for the WNBA too. I did hear him say that in the interview that he was thinking about doing the um being a commentator for the WNBA, which would bring his legendary Man, right. exactly over mm-hmm. to that and right. support that uh you know say that platform. Um. So yeah, man, it was just That's he had a lot. Like, yeah, he had a lot he had going a lot. on. Especially to the other families that lost their lives too, man. It's crazy, yeah. huh? Yeah, Freak man. accident. Did y'all like, like the mother, the husband, and the daughter? They left one daughter behind. Yeah, it was another. Yeah, it was another kid yeah, behind. Man, Are just you just her. <laughs> yeah, like she just really lost her whole family. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's like Kobe. Yeah, that's. But that right there, that's a tragedy. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, my arm, my hair, my arm just standing up right now. Like to feel that pain, like, mm-hmm. like you don't like. What do you do? Never you know? gonna see them again. Like, it's like what do you tell your? Because either she got to go with the grandparents or her aunt or her uncle or, you know, what do you tell? Like, what do you say to them? At once. Like, what do you I say to have like a family dog or a pet? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, like something that would everybody like. Like, shit. how do you tell her, like, hey, your parents are not coming back? That's so sad. Your and it's sad though. as real yeah. life though. Things happen like that for real. It's sad. That's hard. Man, for can't take, can't take that, life for yeah, granted, man. I can't. You can't. That's why you gotta like. I think if anybody, um, you know what I'm saying, like they, um, like if they get anything from that shit, bro, like just keep. Consistency and mood, like keep moving. That's like really that mama that. shit. You just you gotta, gotta live like for mama. Love your people. Yeah, man, that's Kobe really did that is. shit. Kobe did that shit whether he was up or down. Yeah, it didn't matter. Like you he know, was going. And, and he was going injured, injured. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Whether he went one for a hundred or he was thirty for thirty, like he was gonna play hard. the hard the same way going. in anything. He was going. You know what I mean? So that, like, you can apply that to anything, especially, like, as artists. Nigga, if it's one person in the crowd, if it's 2,000 in the crowd, if it's 30,000, you're going to, same shit. Give them the same energy. Because that's the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the same, you know, that one person is going to tell somebody else. And, you know, them 2,000 people are going to tell 2,000 more people. So you got to keep that same energy Cause that's what he did. Like he, he, kept, he was a leader in the basketball community. Man, so. that nigga was a leader in everything. Mm-hmm. Fuck the basketball yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the real that's shit the least of hear. it. Yeah, that's the real shit. I think I heard like outside of athletics, man. He just touched so many people. You know what I'm saying? For like that Mamba mentality is real. Like I was saying, you can really take that into anything that you're doing in life. Like to be a good a fucking great parent you know what i'm saying to be better with your diet you feel me like right. just to be a, a head whatever like, you're doing yeah you know what i'm saying just to go hard at it and be consistent and don't let nobody knock you off your pedestal and he was not gonna let nobody knock him of what he was doing yeah. no matter if they felt like he was losing or not you know what i'm saying real shit that's that mamba shit <laughs> for real <laughs> like real shit what you think about that logo shit when I'm talking about them changing oh, the logo and shit. Change it. You know what's crazy is how they took all the yeah. Nike or like his shoes. Like you can't buy his shoes online. Nah, mm-hmm. they came back and said they it, they didn't take them down. They sold out. <laughs> I thought they said you. They, Man, you think you thought Nike was gonna lose out on that money? Like one thing about it, it's still about money. That's like I don't give a fuck who died. <laughs> you know they gonna resell that. And you shit. know it's still triple about price, money, right? Price. It's still about money. That's just like um. You know, with the logo, like as much as I love hooping and basketball and the NBA and all that shit, you really think they're gonna let a nigga be the face of their billion dollar company? Jerry West already said he don't yes, care. So he can no, not even that he doesn't care. But the Jerry NBA West has, is the, the logo can, right no, now. No, but the he NBA, can tell him the to stop NBA, using me. he can say take me down. He can say no, 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 no. The NBA just put out a statement saying Jerry West, it was a silhouette. It was the NBA has never made a statement about the logo. Ever. But everybody knows that. Someone that's just who created it, is. it. 
Like, no, it, no, like it wasn't Jordan, just created. Just it's like Jerry Jordan. West. Everybody know that's that's Jerry West's nickname, the logo. That's his nickname, it's the facts. logo. That nigga, he ain't come up with that shit on his own. Right. <laughs> but for for the NBA to come out with it in 2020, for the NBA to come out with a statement, because that many people petitioned for Kobe to be the logo, they've never said anything about the logo, ever. And this logo that we have it. now... <laughs> This logo that we have now wasn't always the logo. They changed that to this. When Jerry West, they thought Jerry West is, you know, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Shit. So, like, for them, you really think they're going to let, you know, as great as Kobe is. I say yes. You you think they would do it? Mm-hmm. Man, hell no. Nah, oh, boy, no, you crazy see, as hell. I don't see it happening. <laughs> They already said they're not going to do it. We're going to be having it. this conversation a couple years ago. And be like, yep. Bro, they're not. I don't, I don't even think they should change it to Kobe. Like, I think they should change it to We're going to change the logo because he died. Nah, I don't that's even think they should change it to Jordan. That's their mentality back there. You know it is. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Really that. Other than Jordan's shoes, away. Kobe was more global than Jordan was. Yeah. They love, Kobe they was love way Kobe more global. I have to disagree. No, no. Jordan never won an Academy Award. Jordan never won an Oscar like that's a whole different lane than athletics. You know how many people don't yeah. watch yeah, sports? Yeah, what did Jordan do at the out of basketball? Make shoes. <laughs> that's Jordan it. Won an SB. That's still sports. <laughs> that's, sports. Space Jam. that's sports. <laughs> Just, that's sports. Wild, you don't understand. <laughs> they ain't give a Grammy for Space Jam. No, I mean I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Oscar, I mean. But you don't understand. Like you don't understand. Like what that put Kobe in. You won an Academy Award and an Oscar. Like that put you in a whole different category. Like, bro, you not even you out of here, bro. Like yeah. this ain't even got nothing to do with sports no more. That's real. Huh? That movie, like that's that's some billion dollar shit. Like that's a different realm. You see what I'm saying? That boy was global like that. So that means you touch athletics and the normal. Yeah, citizens. We're, we're not even talking about the casual fan. We're talking about the people who never watch sports, period. Yeah. That's true. Knew who Kobe was. Knew who Kobe was. Yeah. I know people who know who Michael Jordan is, but never seen, don't even wear Jordan shoes. They wear Adidas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, young generation yeah. think of Jordan as shoes, man, not a player. Yeah, that's man. it, not that's even a player. Yeah, I'm my son, he's 13. Nigga, he don't even get, like, he got certain Jordans, but he don't even care. He like, I want the bronze. I want the yeah, KDs. Yeah. I, right? want the, Kyrie. I want the Kyries. I want the fuck Jordan. Damn. We don't even know Jordan. I want them bronze. Bronze don't is the best Don't even know Jordan player. a basketball player? No, that's no. crazy. They've seen you know they know because I tell we he, never he, got he to see him myth, play. He a myth, you know what yeah, saying? really. He but he really he is. Twenty twenty. Uh, uh, Jordan retired in what ninety eight? No, Jordan no, retired, retired in oh two. Yeah, he retired. He came from the back. Yeah, he came from back. From the Wizards, he got in oh two. My son was born years. in oh six, wow. bro. Yeah, they Thank have. You. They ain't mm. seen him play. He never seen like, him play. He's never seen him play. Other than just like my NBA too. TV, and you right. know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> they ain't trying to watch them old games. Uh. <laughs> right. It's hard to get him off of Fortnite. Shit. Mm. So let alone watch a Kobe. I mean, a uh, a uh, uh, Jordan like highlight. All he know is I need these Jordans because they say this is hot, and. <laughs> I know I can resell them. There you are. That's it. That's all he know right now, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So you know, time, Kobe. Time change, that, that game with Jordan, Jordan, he he shrugging his shoulders. He, man, he hit six threes and a half. Like they hit six threes in a quarter, dog. Like that ain't nothing oh, no yeah, more. But, yeah. but then, man, that's why he's looking at like I'm hitting six threes. You could talk talk crazy. Man, that boy Steph Curry. He, like he changed the game, though. Anywhere, That's why boy. he's a great. He changed the game. Man, they, oh. man, he, he ruined you the game, You don't think Steph, Steph Curry the changed the game? The, Do I think he changed yeah. the game? And I'm going to tell you why he man. changed he the game. He had his moment. If I feel I like he had I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say he changed the game oh. because it just was transitioning to that. No. Okay, squad. now let me tell you why he changed the game. Prior to Steph Curry... Mm-hmm. Nobody was shooting as much from the three. Where they as where far. they were shooting as far back 
from as the they were shooting. Line, that, that when brought, you have the up, NBA though. contemplating whether we should move the three point line back, back. even further. Because it was too you easy. You changed the game. It's too easy now. My son shoots from the logo. That's all they want to do. That's all kids want to do. I mean, but, the three, they, dog. but no. they've been doing that. They're passing it down. No, no, no. They no, they no, they no, they no. When he first started, no, it wasn't. I, that's what I'm saying. Line, I'm just saying he brought attention to it. No, no, no. You know no, what I'm no, saying? No. They weren't shooting I at the I can't speak for everybody, bro. I've been, I've been shooting. From half court since in high school, like like I'm just I but was Stephen Curry player. Okay, let me you feel t- me. Listen. I was never the nigga going to the bucket. I'm a bust your ass from way out here. But, listen, can't stop but listen to what I'm saying. I swear to God. When I say he changed, but that's the when game, it wasn't. That's when it wasn't like team game. If you didn't take like it to the that. hole, you was like you're not a good player. All you do is shoot. Exactly. You know what I'm See that's yeah. Now now is, it's respected. Now is bro. If you don't shoot that shot. Mm-hmm. Before it was man. What's the more high percentage shot? Right, right. right. That is the high percentage shot. You see what I'm saying? That boy changed offense. He changed the game. It's but think about it. When the NBA first came out, there was no three-point line. Then right. they made it. Right. So it, it, it's it evolved. Buy, they, they Jordan didn't take that many threes. Nope. Jordan didn't take that, that many threes. That wasn't the game. That wasn't his game. That wasn't the game. It you goes, play inside but, out. But shooting is the game now. Like that. You yeah, know no, that because no, all the big men shoot. Chase McGrady was doing it. It wasn't a lot of threes. Yeah, yeah but now like that. Going to the hole, we talking was, about yeah. we talking about big niggas shooting. Like we talking about AD. You feel me? Like, and see, people think Steph yeah. Curry is small. You know Steph Curry is 6'2". You know yeah, who's shooting now? Steph Curry You know who else shooting? They got Blake Griffin shooting threes now. Exactly. Steph Curry. Dang, he I changed think, the game. I believe it. I, he changed I the game. All time great. I agree. All time I, great. I totally agree. But I just feel like they have definitely been doing that. He did. No, brought, no, no. They he brought awareness to it. That's what I'm he saying. Made a wave he made. It. Yeah. yeah. He. he who and, was, who and, else You know what I heard? As far it's whoever, as he was from whoever that. make it hot Bro, first. If you can listen, they, whoever get to it first. People shoot, man. Not like him, man. Yes. No. Not even Reggie. Really, Reggie Miller. I'm not, in the league. No, I'm not talking about in the league. Up. I'm talking about basketball all together. But Ray Allen, not just Ray, Allen, Allen but Ray, Allen. Ray Allen on, nah, on the Ray line Ray too. Allen, no, no, no. It's not even about Ray Allen being on the line. What they did with Ray Allen. His range was No, on his the line. range was wherever. But what they did with Ray Allen was Ray Allen came around a lot of picks where Steph Curry changed the game. I could yeah, make he, any he move the ball, take off the and just throw Scoop. it up, and yeah, it was going in. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't true. have to have anybody set me up. I could set myself up. He had an yeah. open shot, Ray Allen. Always. And it was just Ray Allen is I'm going through picks. I'm cutting. That's J.J. Yeah, Redick. I'm cutting. I'm, you know, Steph Curry yeah. take out the dribble. It ain't too many people can put the ball on the floor and pull no. up. No. Like That's tough. That. I think Jamal Crawford been doing it like that. That's tough. Jay oh, he been giving niggas buckets man, for years, dog. Yeah, he's dirt. still ready. Yeah, the house waiting, waiting yeah. for that call. Really, really. But man, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, great discussion. We had a great show today, man. We want to shout out Charles McQueen. No man, doubt, give out no your doubt. Instagram, bro. One Let time, them know man. where they can find yeah, your music, at, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, go find me on everything, man. At Charles underscore McQueen, man. That's Instagram, uh, the book, uh, SoundCloud, that Piff, all that. And then we got, you know, Rick D out of Tampa. Let, what them, know up, where what they, let them know where they can find you at, where they can hit you up at, where they can book you at, I'm you know, all that good I'm gonna shit. I'm going to make it simple. You can just type me in on any social media platform, um, Rick D, R-I-C-C space D. Only Rick D is going to pop up, but if you just type in Rick D, it's going to pop up. Google it, Facebook. I'm going to pop up, you know what I'm saying, Rick D with two Cs. Anything else disrespectful, fans and fiends is the movement. All you know, right. shells give out shit. It's follow me at Shells four oh seven. Also at Barcelona this Sunday after party for the Super Bowl. Okay. Oh, Super Bowl that? party going on. Yes. Shout out to Afo Chapman. You know what I'm Show. saying? NWO. You know, New West Orlando. Indeed. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Y'all, y'all can follow me on Instagram at, at mixbreed E N T. That's M I X X B R E. Why you ain't put that extra X on it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I was thinking about it though. Hey man, it's up. not too late. It's not too late. It's not too it late. <laughs> I go by Riley Moneyback. Riley, you follow me on Instagram, Moneyback uh, underscore Riley R I L E Y. You know what I'm saying, man. We appreciate these guys coming. We appreciate Rick coming from, you know, motherfucking Tampa. Oh, we appreciate shit. McQueen coming from, it's you know, love man, it's a vibe. by way indeed. of Cleveland. Indeed, you, you know what I mean. Indeed. And you know, shout out to Ivy Cannon. You know, all them in Miami right now, man. Putting in that work. Hey man, we out, man. We out. What's on, what's on? Yo. Yo.